Well, you know, Paula, what I love about small towns here in the Hudson Valley is that they are just that. They're small towns. And small town like Hyde Park is like any other small town, with the exception of the fact that on 4th of July, everybody in the town comes out, and it becomes one big collective community. Yeah, and when you talk about a town like Hyde Park with so much history, so much character, a good old-fashioned town, that gives the parade a whole new dimension. So this Monday, on July 4th, is the day that we will be televising the parade for you on HVNN.com. Yeah, it's going to be a great time. We hope to see you there. He bleeds red, white, and blue. His God and his country has been the most important thing to him his whole life. And the young Republican confirms his parentally described patriotism by serving in the Army National Guard and previously as Director of Operations for the New York State Senate Veterans, Homeland Security, and Military Affairs Committee. Very significant piece of legislation, the Service Connected Disabled Veterans Set Aside Bill for Service Connected Disabled Veteran Owned Businesses. So 6% of all state contract spending, if the state's going to buy pencils, or if the state's going to invest in the stock market, or the state needs a cleaning service, all that is put into one big pot. Uh, for description purposes here, and 6% of that is set aside exclusively for those disabled veteran-owned businesses. We're talking almost $500 million of economic impact a year. That is double the federal set-aside standard and larger than any other state. And it's not an option here in New York. Some states, well, if, if we want to, or you know, every year to year, it is set in stone that every year this is available to businesses that are qualified through the process. And you know, so often we hear about veteran unemployment rate is one of the highest subset of unemployed rates that are tracked in, uh, across the country and in the state. And uh, veterans, we, we, we need to do everything we can to get back. And this is just one example on a massive level. I mean, $500 million, that's not a, a small chunk of change. And it's, it's a hand up. So often we hear about the negative cycle of dependency that the state creates or from government. But this is a chance where we're actually doing good we're helping promote local New York businesses, veteran-owned businesses. And Schmidt wants you to know he also cares about women, like Rachel Newhouse, his mom, and his girlfriend, as the scores who attended the recent launch of Women for Schmidt in Cornwall would gladly attest. I've been involved in politics most of my life, different clubs, stuff like that, and I've always just supported local businesses. I work for a small family business that's really close to my heart. We go out to all the restaurants throughout town. I love doing that. And we go to community affairs, which I love being outside, so it's perfect. His main concern is his country, his county, his neighbors, his family, and he really will go to Albany and do what he needs to do for his constituents, for the people. That's what he believes and what he speaks, he will follow through with. I would consider myself a reform-minded Republican. Politics is not a spectator sport. you got to get involved. And uh, that's what led me to what I'm doing. So I see a lot of the passion I have and had back then in, in Colin today. I'm a registered Republican, I have been since the day I was able to vote, but I also see that there are reforms that are needed in both parties, because really both parties have failed us in the state. When you do have a clear heart, you do you have a strong vision of what needs to be done, and when you're doing things for the right reasons, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how many hours, weeks, or even years it takes, you can get the job done. And I think that's desperately needed here in the Hudson Valley, in Orange and Rockland counties, and especially in the state assembly. Reporting from Chester, Jay Berkey for HVNN.com.